that's what our main focus in Aurora now is, is to develop the young guys and get them on to the next level and get them ready for that level. If you're telling me that you want to be a hockey player and you want to commit yourself to being a hockey player, there are no sacrifices. So if we freeze them at the blue line, we can dump it, and we got two or three guys chasing, we've done our job. A lot of teams in our league will practice twice a week and then have the two or three games. We go Monday to Thursday, just, just as it would be at the next level. My name is Jared Fennell. I, uh, I'm a fourth year guy. I wear number 16, the Aurora Tigers. Coming to Aurora, JR really like, my game went up like substantially, like just turned right around and I can thank no one but him. I trained really hard in the summer. I have a personal trainer, Joe Dennis. He was in the Olympics for bobsledding. So we work, he's really, really all like core, like legs, stuff like that. Like I think off season training is a big, big part of it coming into the season. You gotta be ready to go for sure. Even the two years that I've been here, every 20 year old that has left here has left to play at a higher level. So. We're doing it, I think, the right way. Uh, and we've helped younger guys. Dylan Secura is a 16-year-old committed to Dartmouth in two years. So, so we're, we're there to develop hockey players. And if you want to develop as a hockey player, I think that this is the place for you to be. He's definitely wanted to point out those negatives in you and uh, compliment you at the same time. You get off the ice to make a bad play or in practice, you're not doing something right. He'll definitely be there, the first one to correct you and uh, the first one to give you positive reinforcements. So I mean, it, it's great. Uh, from the coaching staff to the equipment staff, the organization, the owners, the players, it's, it doesn't get better than this. looking for the character guys with skill and talent, but they've got to be committed to the game of hockey. If you're going to tell me you want to play NCAA Division I hockey or Division Three hockey or OHL uh, or the CIS, you have to be committed to it. It has to be a lifestyle. And it's when you go to bed at night, how much sleep you get, what you put in your body for food and drink. It's a commitment level that, that we need to have on and off the ice because they have to be in the gym twice a week with the trainer and the other four or five days they have to do a maintenance program. Through the, through the year, so we're looking for kids with character that are committed, you know, obviously the skill and talent. There was, a, there was a different feel to hockey. You look forward to coming to hockey. He makes it fun, he makes it enjoyable, and at the same time, he makes you learn something new every day, and that's, and that's what guys love about him. He's an approachable guy. He's uh, he's on you if you're not working hard, and you better work hard if you're coming to play here. But at the same time, like I said, he, he's that guy that you can approach and ask how I can improve my game, and he'll be the first one out there helping you at six o'clock in the morning if he asks you, helping you on your game. We didn't win at all, but uh, you know we had a lot of people come up and say it was their best year in hockey. So we can pat ourselves on the back and say, hey, thank you, and let's do a better job next year.